Hey there folks, welcome to another Samurai Warriors run from your good friend in the digital age, Mysterious JG. Uh, Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends, I probably showed off this intro before. But yeah, it's the Extreme Legends intro, it's got... What's his name? Toshie Meia? Meida? So my last uh, Samurai Warriors 2 adventures featured people complimenting my knowledge of history, which is well, it's going to be kind of embarrassing, but I really don't actually know a hell of a lot about this. <laughs> or, uh, you know, like to the point where I couldn't figure out the name of that character that we saw. That's great to see you. She's easy, because there's not that many girls in this game. And there's Musashi fighting, what's his name, Kajiro. There's that guy whose name is escaping me for the moment. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm an expert on Japanese history. But no, we're going to play through um, another Samurai Warriors thing, and I don't know why I'm being coy about who it's going to be, because their name will appear in the video. Uh, title. I must select a storage device in order to blah 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 blah. So let's do that. So, I uh, had a little bit of feedback in uh, the Nobunaga LP, or playthrough, Muso, and people asked me what character or I asked people to suggest what character they'd like to see next, and I got a couple suggestions. Uh, so I'd like to respond to them, although you can tell who I'm going to play as already from the video title if you are paying attention or if you're looking at the screen right now. Uh, but I had a couple of suggestions. I'd like to run through them real quick. Um, Jarm... Jarmas4 uh, wants to see uh, Nohime or Oichi. Now, Nohime... There's a problem with Nohime, which is that uh, I have been off-screen messing around with mercenary mode, and Nohime is who I'm using for that, which means uh, she's one of the only characters I've actually played as recently. Nohime is kind of uh, she's fun. I have a I have a soft spot for playing as the sexy chicks in these games. I know it's silly; it makes me come across as a perv, probably. But it's just I find it amusing when the chick goes out there, supposed to be all ultra sultry, sexy, and is also like you know beating the hell out of everybody in battle. It's also fun to play as the cutesy little chicks like Gracia in battle. But, um, no, Hime is a little bit ridiculous. Um, she's kind of interesting. She's more interesting probably... I think her model is cooler in this game, but she's more interesting in Samurai Warriors because in the original Samurai Warriors, they play up something which they don't really do anything with in this game, which is that she comes from... I can't now remember the name of the, the Saito clan, I think. Uh, she's the daughter of Dosan Saito, or whatever the hell his name is. I can't pronounce the names, I'm, I'm half... I'm only half remembering the names, apologies, and I'm gonna get a lot of the details wrong, but... Uh, I think she's the daughter of somebody from the Saito clan, who were neighbors and rivals of the Oda. And as, you know, basically the way it worked back in them days, uh, in Japan and in a lot of other places, marriages between, uh, members of the political elite class were political tools, and... Uh, Nohime, or No as she is known in this game, was married to Nobunaga for political purposes to seal an alliance. So Samurai Warriors toys with an idea that also floated around in like the world of rumor and peasant gossip, which was that she was actually an assassin who was supposed to kill Nobunaga. This is kind of a, a, a tale that got circulated around, I guess. Uh, and some of this comes from the fact that, although in this game she's portrayed as being super hot and everything she's like genji from dynasty warriors who's like you know she's the one who's supposed to be sultry whereas like dynasty warriors and a lot of japanese games love throwing out characters who essentially look like schoolgirls or spunky idiots like dakiao is dressed practically like a schoolgirl in some of the dynasty warriors games jakiao is always like me so silly <laughs> and um genji's the counterpoint she's like the you know sultry demure woman no is kind of playing that role but they, they really crank up the over-the-top sex day by everything she says is an allusion to sex in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. But her muso is, is exactly the same as Nobunaga's. Practically, there's like one mission that's different and it's lame. So it would be really repetitive to do because, uh, you know, she wasn't out there fighting in real-life battles. So her only connection to the battles of the story is to Nobunaga. But yeah, there was always rumors that she was an assassin and some of this was fed by the fact that in real life... Uh, she was Nobunaga's first wife. Nobunaga, of course, had more than one wife, and um, I don't know if they used to have more than one wife or if they just got to have concubines, but either way, a guy like Nobunaga was not limited to just uh, getting married to one woman, and then that was the only person he got to 
you know, engage in activities with. So he had various children by various women, but he did not have any children by no. So it's, and of course, because she was the wife of a famous person, what we know about her in history is that the marriage was a big deal politically, but we don't know about what happened to her after. It's generally accepted that she and Nobunaga, like she probably just lived in a palace somewhere and never saw her husband or much of anything else. Very sad. But no, she was floated as a possibility. Um, but no, the problem is I'd already started messing around off camera with uh, mercenary mode using her specifically. The other character that Jarmas 4 wanted to see was Oichi. Oichi's tempting, actually. Because while she is a fairly effective character, she's completely ridiculous. You can see her weapon is a cup and ball. Maybe I'll eventually get to her, but I'm just not in the mood right now. But no, she's she's funny. Her story's actually semi-serious. Even though in the first game she's portrayed as being like 8 years old. In Kessen 3 she's portrayed as being like the ultimate hot chick that everybody wants. In this game she's kind of this spunky little person. But she's not portrayed as being stupid like Jia Kiao. She's just kind of like, you know, feminine and spunky and whatever, but not retarded. And basically, her story is like this epic love story and blah, blah, blah. Uh, RCH asked to see Hideyoshi. Not a bad choice. Um, stable master. Um, because he starts out as, like, you know, a peasant and rises to the top. Uh, in this game, his entire story... Like, I would be more interested in seeing his story from the very beginning, but in this game, his story basically starts from the point where he takes over from uh, Nobunaga, because historically... As our tour guide told us in Japan, uh, and I'm probably misquoting the adage, but uh, Nobunaga formed the rice cake, Hideyoshi patted the rice cake, but Ieyasu ate the rice cake. Because basically Hideyoshi is the one who took over uh, the political military alliance that was formed by Nobunaga and carried it forward, but he died before Japan was unified and Ieyasu actually is the one who got to do it. But that being said, um, I don't know. I, I can't really put a finger on why I don't feel like playing as Hideyoshi, but I don't feel like playing as Hideyoshi. I think in part because some of the most interesting battles in the game take place after he dies. Um, so he's like, he would be bridging from the beginning, like from the, the sort of early mid game where Nobunaga dies to the early late game, but not really getting the coolest battles in his Muso. But uh, maybe eventually. Uh, High, P High Priest Funeral wants to see Gracia's story, and uh, High Priest Funeral is like a loyal viewer who has been watching since like RTK and popping up on all the Kawhi stuff and the JRPGs, and it's tempting to just do something that he suggested because, you know, he's a loyal viewer, but... And Gracia does, as uh, High Priest Funeral points out, have a really adorable Muso. Her friendship with a certain mercenary is kind of sweet. But, I freaking suck as Gracia. I think she sucks as a character, and it's not just me, <laughs> but she's really hard to win with. So, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, eventually. I don't know. Not in the mood for it right now. Shadow Wolf Rising, no, sorry, I skipped one. Epitaph of X Grungnir wants me to play as Musashi or Hanzo. Uh, Musashi has kind of a dull muso, uh, is my recollection. On the other hand, uh, when I was serious years ago about playing through the survival mode castle as far as I could, Musashi was my go-to guy because he's a fucking beast. He is a monster. Um, but his uh, muso is actually pretty lame, so I'm not really interested in doing him uh, right now. Um, Hanzo has actually a pretty fun muso, if I recall correctly, but eh, I don't know. Maybe if I feel like getting around to doing one of Ieyasu's crew, uh, Hanzo would be good. The thing is, Hanzo's story involves a lot of cut, a lot of Kotaru Fuma, and Kotaru Fuma is to me the most irritating and ridiculous character in the game. And this is a game that includes Nohime going around just constantly saying like, "Mmm, tempting. I will kill you in sexy fashion." Yeah. Uh, speaking of Kotaru, uh, Shadow Wolf Rising wants me to play as Kotaru. He actually does have an interesting Muso, uh, but. He's irritating. <laughs> I, I just think he's retarded. He's like, he's supposed to be a ninja who works for the Hojo, but he's portrayed as being this kind of demon. It's, eh, it's a bit weird. Uh, he also, and then after that, he suggested Magalichi. 
who you will recall from uh, the previous Musos we played is the guy who's he's credited in the Samurai Warriors series a lot of the time with being the one who killed Nobunaga. Which is strange because historically there's really no particular reason to believe this. Um, the biggest problem with Magoichi is that I'm not very good with him. Um, and then the last one that was suggested by uh, Shadow Wolf Rising was uh, Gomon Ishikawa, but I think he's confused. Gomon Ishikawa is one of a very small number of characters from the original Samurai Warriors who is not in Samurai Warriors 2 in any form. So I can't do that one. His Samurai Warriors uh, story is kind of silly anyway. I mean, he's a funny kind of character, but... And I, but, yeah, when he popped up on uh, Warriors Orochi, I was like, who the fuck is this? Because I had never played Samurai Warriors at that point. And then the last person to have a suggestion, I believe, was uh, Brigand Max. Unless he was the first person to have a suggestion, I'm reading this in the wrong order. Uh, but he wants to see one of the characters from Extreme Legends. So I guess I could satisfy two people by playing as Gracia. Because she's from Extreme Legends. But, if I recall correctly, most of her musos are not taking place on the new Extreme Legends maps. There's uh, Yoshimoto Imagawa from Extreme Legends. He's like basically a comic relief character. Uh, if I ever get around to playing um, Kessen 3 or uh, Nobunaga's Ambition Iron Triangle, he'll be kind of a big deal. Because he was the leader of a very powerful clan, but he, as a person, was basically incompetent. He led a very powerful and wealthy clan to crushing defeat at the hands of Nobunaga, who was badly outnumbered. That's basically Nobunaga's big role got started by beating this buffoon, as he is known in this game, who had a huge army and used it, like, you know, incompetently. You got Kojiro Sasaki. His Muso is basically, if I recall, just about wanting to fight Musashi. And Musashi's Muso is just about wanting to fight him, because they were two famous ronin who had a famous duel... And um, ha um, Haomaru and um, Takaman Ukyo from uh, Samurai Showdown series are vaguely based on them. He is he Kajiro uh, is the one that Ukyo is kind of sort of based on because he fights with that sword style, uh, but he does not have he has like weird clown face paint and loves to kill the innocent Amakusa style as opposed to having tuberculosis, like Ukiyo. Uh, Katsuo Shibata, Katsui Shibata, who had a voice actor change, which irritated me throughout Nobunaga's LP, um, is probably the guy I'd play as if I wanted to play as one of the, the dudes from Extreme Legends, because he's not playable in the original Samurai Warriors 2. And then um, Morochika Shosakabe was, may have been a really cool dude in history, but his nickname was The Bat, which is, I'm sorry, retarded. <laughs> and uh, in this game, he like he tries to be all cool and badass and dark, but he fights with a freaking banjo. He's it's ridiculous. And uh, Toshie Maeda, the model student, is like a loyal friend of Katsui Shibata, but eh. So all those were good suggestions, and I'll bear them all in mind down the road, but... One guy that I really wanted to play as, that I'm going to go ahead and play as now. Apologies to everybody. I just wanted to acknowledge your suggestions, and I'll get to them. I also apparently wanted to make this video eight hours long without ever getting to play. Uh, but the guy I want to play as is the first guy I ever played as. He's kind of the default guy to play as in this game. He's a very good character, but he also has a particularly challenging Muso. At least his dream mode is really tough. Uh, he is the man, the myth, the legend. We will learn as we play... Yukimura Sanada. Yukimura Sanada returns to battle. I am going to start him out on level 1 on hard difficulty. This may be a very bad idea. But if anybody was upset that normal mode was too easy, um, I am going to really kind of push myself a bit to play as him on hard. I'm not going to be playing with Chaos or Expert at all, probably, just because that's for LP purposes. I'm trying to show off the stories. I don't want to be like dying, con constantly dying and loading. So let's do hard mode with uh, the guy who, understandably, is paired all the time in the Warriors Orochi series with um, Zhou Yu. Sorry, Zhao Yun, because they both fight with spears and are like portrayed as being vaguely 
the shonen super badass guys who are known for their incredible loyalty and bravery. And uh, I won't... I'll try not to give it away before we get to it, but Yukimura's... Uh, his end is considered like the classic example of samurai honor. So we got some cash probably from Welcome. Nohime. No, we don't actually. Looks like I spent all the money that Nohime earned on Nohime. So, Thank you. never mind. We ain't got shit. Let's uh, hope that the easy, the first mission will be easy enough on hard mode that I won't make an ass of myself in retreat from Nagashino. Fifteen seventy-five, Nagashino. You may recall this is the battle where the uh, Oda defeated the Takeda, and you may also notice that Yukimura, remember that Yukimura was an enemy we fought in that battle, and that he's dressed in the red lobster armor of the Takeda. Because he was on the side of the Takeda. Who were using horses against Nobunaga's army, who had guns. The cry of spirit drowned in mud. Got to get away. Got to, got to, got to. Before the next round. Stop, please. Do stop, please. Stop. The last breath of honor in a dying age. Is Nobunaga gonna make a cameo or are we just gonna see his generics? There he is. Say something evil, Nobunaga. Or just grin. <laughs> It's Kaiji Meda. Is that his name? I can never remember his name. I don't know what his deal is. Fire! In this. Fire! Apparently, he feels himself bulletproof. So he decides to rescue Yukimura because, you know, why not? He's got this game's red hair. I am KG Mida, servant of the Oda. But I just changed affiliation, so now I'm just a regular guy. What's your name, kid? Yukimura Sanada. Let's make it through this, Yukimura. Cool. This is the first Muso I ever played. And Kaiji seems like a pretty good guy. <laughs> you can wear a bit of a stick in the mud. In the year 1573, two years following the death of Shingen Takeda, Shingen's son Katsuyori began the long journey to the capital in order to carry on his father's ambition. Nobunaga Oda, known throughout the land as the Demon King, saw this as the perfect opportunity to eliminate the Takeda once and for all and set forth to meet him at Nagashino. Katsuyori gave the order to charge the Oda army. Idiot. However, lying in wait for his men was a force equipped with 3,000 rifles. I suppose he probably couldn't have won if he just stood there that and didn't day, charge. The renowned but... Takeda warrior Yukimura Sanada watched as countless brave men fell to the fiery rain of bullets. The battle had made it painfully clear that the age of the traditional warrior had ended, and a new age of modern combat was about to begin. Which is why Yukimura fights with a gun, right? My pride may be lost, but I will not give up the fight. Chapter 1. Retreat from Nagashino. My spear shall lead me to victory! Wherever you go, my spear will find you. Somebody made a suggestion that I seem to have skipped over. Because uh, I was just reminded there. Ah, yes. Angus Roland. I apologize, Angus, if you're still watching. Uh, he suggested I could do Kenshin or Shingen. They were the two master strategists who were both included in the game as playable characters. But in fact, both of them kind of restricted to the early part of the game. 
they mentioned, of course, that Shingen died before the big battle between the Takeda and the Oda. So all of his battles in this game, basically, they take they take uh, conflicts that in anybody else's Muso would be one battle, and with Shingen they draw it out into four or five battles just to give him a Muso that's long enough to be worth playing. Because of course the game really starts when Shingen's already more than halfway through his life. And uh, Kenshin doesn't do too much better, although he gets to fight the Oda a bit. Kenshin lived long enough to have a few showdowns uh, against the Oda after the Oda had uh, laid a hurt on the Taka. None of that's really important right this second, though. Um, we got no special skills. The only thing that we're getting out of previous play here is that we get to start with a level 6 Shrine Maid. Hopefully she will be able to keep uh, our friend here alive. He also has a fairly good horse, but otherwise he's level one, no experience, no wap wapets other than his default starting wapet, and he's playing on hard mode. So this could be uh, a bit tricky. And I do remember the first time I played this game actually following their instructions, which was to just retreat, retreat, retreat. I also remember, I guess I hadn't figured out how the maps worked, but I remember being really lost the first time I played through. Uh, we win if we can defeat Nobunaga, which seems a bit silly. And we lose if Katsuyori or Yukimura are defeated. So if we lose, we lose. We're Yukimura. And if Katsuyori is defeated, we lose because this is Retreat from Nagashino, our whole mission. This is the same map, but it is not the same uh, exact battle. Like, we don't have the same unit placements and stuff as when you play as the Oda. So we can dash forward, leaving a trail of flame, and we can call Yukimura's force to his side. This is such a good special that it will become in later Warrior Orochi games and Dynasty Warriors games and possibly Samurai Warriors 3, though I've never played that. Everybody will get this, but in this game, uh, Yuki Morris was the only person who gets this move. So, there's Katsuyori, he's in the fort, we can't let him die. We got Yuki Yamura and Kaiji and a couple of other guys, but yeah, we're obviously badly outnumbered. I probably don't want to go fucking around with Tarakatsu. Noah's hanging out in there with uh, Nobunaga, of course. Katsuie. Nobutada. As I played through the game the first time, I assumed that Nobutada was the son of No and uh, Nobunaga. He is no uh, Nobunaga's son, but not by No. And then lots and lots and lots of generics. El Charge. Alright. Go see what the game wants us to do. We're on hard mode with no leveling up at all. This could be really bad. I'm probably just talking it up so that if I do pull Great it off, I'll look so awesome. Fallen. Now to dig up their roots. We have lost everything. Oh, he's all. Ain't nothing over yet. He's kid. super powered. Just I'm probably supposed me. to run away. I'll help you get through this. <laughs> Idiot! Do you know who I am? Yeah, he's super powered. Nagahide Niwa is not. To take the enemy general's head and raise it in victory. Heiji, why did you save me? What's your deal, man? I didn't want to see you die, especially when you got such a great heart. Which I can tell by your corpse. No yes, try to run. It will do you no good. You can't run. You can't hide, bitch. Alright, so I took out somebody. Ow! And then I got shot in the back. I am supposed to defeat the frontline unit. And these cavalry are actually my allies, so that's nice. I was down to like half health there, that was pretty bad. I can't remember now how to call a horse though. And I've definitely misplaced mine. Well, Katsuie is going to have to be defeated eventually. I might as well try to get on that. While I got allies over there helping. Yourself. 
Ow. Ow. Oh, getting shot twice with a round of muskets was enough to stun me. What a wuss. He's about to defeat one of our frontline buddies. Oh man, Hideyoshi's in there attacking uh, Katsuyori. Or Katsuye. Or no, I'm attacking Katsuye. He's attacking Katsuyori. Man, them Japanese got fun of names. At any rate, I'm... It would be a very good thing to get rid of him now. I totally mistimed that. Like I said, although I want to get rid of this guy while I got allies here. He's going to be a pain in the ass. Hitting him one unblockable, not unblockable, but damn it, damn it, no. Got to get him now while I got the power up times the attack times two. There we go. Probably be wise to save right about now. Makoto, keep it up! I look forward to fighting you again. Sure thing, Bolts. Okay. Now, if I get rid of these guys... Damn, my ally here just got wiped out. Oh, that's... I think I just lost by... Yeah, this mission I was on, I just lost because that guy got defeated too quick. So I didn't... Yeah, I was supposed to save that guy up here. I took too long to fight, uh... Katsuie. But hey, you know, I'm at level 1. He was glowing with power. He was going Lu Bu style. So, you know, I can only do what I can do. I'm living right on the edge of death here. So, defeating that guy probably... Okay, th that really didn't do any good then. How do you do specials in this game? I forget. Uh, RB plus Y. There we go. A standard in later games. For right now, it's a special skill that only Yukimoto possesses. Whistling ability. So yeah, Hideyoshi, this is the first mission, even on hard mode. They're going to give my uh, commander, it's going to have some survivability. Oh, and of course he had Keiji here helping him. I do feel bad you that I wasn't able to. Keep me from the treasures I desire. What treasures do Let you desire? Lord Nobunaga begin. So then my era can begin afterwards. I feel bad though. I wish we'd been able to see what happens if you defeat the Oda's frontline forces before any of your guys go down. It would be kind of defying history a little bit. This is a lot easier than beating Katsuie. I think Katsuie was in glowing power mode to represent the fact that you're really not supposed to be able to beat the frontline Oda units. No enemy shall ever surpass me. Take that, monkey. You remind me of my younger Mama, days. Monkey. No shame in retreat, as long as you win in the end. Okay, so I don't really know what's he in danger from. 
Okay, so just changed how things work. With guns. I have not changed. Yeah, you haven't changed at all. That's no big secret. Okay, so I don't get to go in there. I'm supposed to be defending him. I don't get to All right, I gotta stop fucking around. Any of you guys enemy officers? No, these are... These guys are on my side. But... Feel the Demon King's embrace. Ah, crap. Without his leadership, the Tiger of Kai's Cubs have become... Are you about to start moving? Yeah, all right, now I can take out uh Master Katsuyo. I shall have your head. All right. I was waiting for Tanakatsu to show up. Let me oh, yeah. handle you, Kimura. You take care of the Oda. KG, I am in your debt. Prepare yourself. Five seconds of non-stop Muso, Time bitch. Is now. I will <laughs> The time is up, the time is now. You can't see him. Because there's no one who more. Whoa, 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 fuck. Get out! Get the fuck out of there! Interim save on the very first mission. Because, yeah. I'm playing on hard mode. I did not want to lose my bodyguard. I will be so hosed without my bodyguard. You are over hosed right now. How could I not have killed him? Oh, yeah, I did kill him there. Although I didn't get the credit, looks like. No, I did. I'm, now it looks like I'm going to lose by taking too long over here. I'm trying to kind of short-circuit it a bit. I don't think I'm really meant to be attacking Yeah. Didn't anyone teach you to respect your elders? <laughs> Die, damn it, Iyasu. I killed his underlings. Ow. I the word. This is not only the end of the Takeda. It's the end for all warriors. Certainly it's the end for Yukimura. <laughs> I think my bodyguard just defeated him too. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I might have bitten off more than I could stew here, uh, chew here. So, sadly, you have to load to get your, uh... To load to get your actual, uh, interim save. And it may just not have been a good idea to um, jump on uh, Ieyasu. He wasn't with uh, Tadakatsu. If he'd been with Tadakatsu, I would have been totally hosed. And I was one hit away from finishing him. Oh, 
I do would. Sort of juggling me. That's what we do, the human players juggle. Damn you! There we go. Witness the might of the Sanada. Didn't anyone I was blocking that whole time, by the way. Attack up, defense up, speed up. I got all the ups right now. So this is my best shot at beating him. Of course, once they get a combo going, you can't defend. Which is only fair, because they can't defend once you get that first hit landed most of the time. There we go. You show great promise. Level up. Anger is the enemy. I must endure. So I'm pretty pissed that I don't get to load state when I get defeated. There you go, folks. Even though, okay, change from Dynasty Warriors 5, uh, which was basically came out not too long before this. Hard mode this is not does not limit the number of um, the continues you get to use or uh, saves. I was really hoping that would have been an item. Okay, so now I just gotta, like, try to get down there and help, um... Who's glowing red? Oh, that's probably... Oh, you are... You are doomed, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't think I can save you. Ready, what? Bodyguard, this would be a great time for. No match against the right. But keep getting these missions. Like he was, that guy was glowing. I guess because I was supposed to be trying to help him. I thought the enemy was glowing. I was meant to defeat him for plot purposes. No enemy shall ever surpass me. But what the game really cared about was me saving... What's his name? Baba. Baba Lue there. And, uh, no, I was too late for that. So, I gotta get down here and save the commander before he is killed by being too close to Tadakatsu while Tadakatsu is powering up and fighting, uh, Kaiji Meta. These two are, like... The Lu Bu and Guan Yu of this game, so oh boy. My blade thirsts for enemy blood. I don't want nothing to do with him. I already killed your boss, why would I bother with an underling? For plot purposes, he is supposed to be down there fighting KG. I don't know if there's any historical basis for that duel. This could be the end of the Takeda. We never recover. Sure, but you can keep on living even if the Takeda are finished. Why, KG? Why must I live? In the meantime, just gotta keep on fighting. your face. Now let's go make the best of this, shall we? Pretty cool. I get down to Katsuyori and immediately say, "This is the end of the Takeda. We will never recover." <laughs> it's like, hey, thanks. That's what we wanted, wanted, wanted to hear from one of my guys right now. Now I suppose I could try to help wipe out. Uh... 
I'll kept, take the rifle unit out just because they're pissing me off. I'm surprised you're still alive. Though you won't be for long. Ooh. Nobunaga's quest for the land shall be built on your grave. I will dance on your grave. I was just about to consider saving the game and then trying to go back and help uh, Kaiji, KG, whatever. <laughs> He's only got 50 KOs. But no, this really looks like no way I can leave him up there with Mitsuhide. Mitsuhide a lot more powerful with an enemy than he is with your ally. <laughs> Oh, he's pretty good at killing his own commander. I don't even get the experience bonus, but it will help out with morale a bit. The fiery Pedro Morales. Yeah, I think I may have short-circuited the plot a bit by killing Ieyasu. I mean, maybe I was supposed to fight him here with Katsuyori, helping me out. I just don't want to get off the horse just to fight this guy. Thank you. Okay. I don't think I... The first time I played this game, I had no idea who Mitsuhide was, so I didn't know that I was... In theory, I'm in trouble here. Let me have a taste of your prowess. I love the taste of men's prowess. But considering that I'm supposed to be fighting this, it's probably not going to be as bad as some of the fights I've already won. Very poorly timed, JG. That was just bad. Managed to completely nullify the usefulness of that Muso by launching everybody and then going for the Muso as soon as there was no way anybody would be hurt by it. Makoto, keep it up! Sadly, not everyone in the world is deeply familiar with the uh, story mode of uh, Eigel. Even when playing Dokupon Kingdom, when we go to Khan's Palace, I can't count on uh, Red and Bean knowing what the hell I'm talking about when I start making great Khan jokes. Yeah, hey, he's my special for a change. I shall be in better form the next time we meet. After beating up some peasants, maybe. Sorry, I thought he was going to talk longer, so I uh, grabbed a drink. Hmm. Sorry, but yeah, bar barring surprise generals, and I'm sure there'll be a few. Well, we've lost all of our allies, except they... Kaiji, our plot ally, and the guys that we need to keep alive to win. But uh, we certainly thinned out the enemy crowd. That's Nobunaga, his wife, his son, and Tarakatsu, who I really probably don't want to mess with. I'm going to go mess with Tarakatsu. just want to see what happens. I am in your debt. Yeah, this is probably why I'm supposed to defeat Ayasu. Tonight, the ground will be littered with tonight, the tonight, tonight. Oh quickly. We must waste no time in wasting them. Waste. Okay, I got you now. I could go after uh, this horse is probably faster, it's got a fancy saddle. Although the plot and the music suggest we're losing. In fact, we've thinned out his hordes enough that were it not for the uh, spawning points that we are not allowed to take, we could do some good here. 
Where are you at, KG? Ah, oh, fuck, there's Hanzo. Katsuyori, here is where your flesh shall If I leave him alone, he is gonna get killed by Hanzo. I'm just... It was always gonna be a tall order to defeat Tadakatsu with a level 1 guy. But, um... No. If it was possible, by leading him to KG and uh, letting, you know, sort of double teaming him with the help of KG. Uh, it was never going to be something that would go fast enough that I wouldn't lose from Hanzo killing Katsuyori. And again, it is the first mission, so they probably will give you a lot more leeway with time. Again, I always found, like, one of the toughest missions in the game was the first mission of uh, Mitsuhide's Muso, because Nobunaga, as your commander you have to keep alive, dies so easy in that one. But anyway... I can do that. Well, you know what? I think once Katsu... The, the, my victory condition is I have to defeat Nobunaga. So I think once Katsuyori leaves the map, I still have to go fight Nobunaga. So at that point, I can decide if I really want to go, uh... mess with, uh... All right, this so I is the wish of every great warrior to talk into the ground. Is this going to be the end of the Takeda? Pretty much. Okay, so I shouldn't have gone over there and messed around with them. Um... Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. Sh I failed you. Prepare yourself. <laughs> oh man, at least I didn't die this time. Oh, he's punching the ground. Bobo, it's uh, shades of Buff Bagwell. Anyway. Warrior in red. Warrior in red. No, I do not want to save. Oh, man. No, this whole uh, plan on uh, hard mode was not really probably a very good idea. But the only reason I lost there is because I, I played around with the idea of fighting Tadakatsu, which took me away too long. So... I'm not going to do that this time. This time I'm going to actually hug Katsuyori and uh, defeat Hanzo. But boy, I sure am impressive here in the first video of this one, eh? That's a dead end. You'll have to find another way. Try the Maruyama Garrison. There should be a way out from there. It's going to be a pretty heavy score. That's right, the uh, great samurai warrior. Berman. The will be littered with the corpses of Takeda soldiers. All units, move quickly. We must waste no time in wasting them. Waste. So, what was being set up at the end there, which is kind of neat, is that uh, the son of Nobunaga was going to be the last obstacle for the son of Shingen Takeda uh, to get out. But uh, because I came from the wrong direction after swinging through the whole map trying to fight Tadakatsu, I met Nobunaga or Nobutada before I met Toriyahanzo. Your impulse shall be your undoing. Ow! Katsuyori is where your flesh shall lie. Not if I have anything to say about it, which hopefully this time I will. Of course, if you fight this mission on the side of the Oda, Hanzo shows up to attack Katsuyori, and no matter how much time you give him, he's never able to pull it out. Hey, nice one, Katsuyori. Spinning your stick around like that was an impressive move, apparently. Katsuyori just likes to run around and occasionally start spinning his staff. The ladies love it. Good going, my lord. Well, I'm... Yukes. It was actually Lord uh, Katsuyori who got the kill, embarrassingly enough. I think it helped that I was there. I 
Because when I wasn't there last time, he, you know, died. He did prepare himself. He dodged all but one of those. Or blocked. I enjoy playing the game, and it's nice that people enjoy watching. I don't really understand how you can just watch all this. Yeah, I learned something. So, uh, you gonna, like, leave now, my lord? I mean... Yay! Katsuyore has left the building. Takeda have lost too much today. Not over yet, Yukimura. We're gonna have to take down Nobunaga if we want to escape. escape? Wait, Katsuyori didn't. What for? What do we have that's worth living for? Don't worry Whoa. about that now. Just focus on tearing off Nobunaga's ugly head, will ya? Oh no, Tarakatsu is heading over there. So there's two things that you can do here. You can either try to finish uh, Nobunaga before Tarakatsu gets there, or you can try to finish Tarakatsu. I should try to, I shouldn't short circuit the game so much. I'm not sure what happens now if uh, you just follow Katsuyori the whole time. I'm sure at some point you have to engage uh, Ieyasu, but by killing Ieyasu early, I kind of mess with the story a bit. Oh, Tadakatsu's morale is still going down. He's trying to head towards uh, Nobunaga, but it's not that easy with uh, Keiji in the way. So, he may be able to one-hit me. Tatsu, uh, I mean, not Tadakatsu. If so, this is a very bad idea. I'm just curious what we get for doing this. Come on, Tarakatsu. These guys are supposed to be dueling. They were, in fact, standing on opposite sides of a bridge fighting each other's minions. Yeah. So that's... This ain't gonna work. You saw how much... Thanks for running through me there, buddy. Okay, that's it. I'm not I'm not doing this loading crap anymore. We uh, we are not going to be able to kill Tadakatsu with a guy who's probably by now like level four. But um, no, we're not going to be able to kill Tadakatsu. Tadakatsu is this game's Lu Bu. He's like just and good Lu Bu, but he's still Lu Bu. So I'm going to do what the game wants you to do, and I'm going to charge Nobunaga's main camp while uh, Kaiji holds uh, Tarakatsu at bay. We will get our chance to fight uh, Tarakatsu, folks, and it will be a major pain in the ass. We'll get a chance to fight him in dream mode, and on hard difficulty, fighting him in dream mode is going to be a hell of a challenge. I'm already wondering why I thought it would be a good idea to to take on hard mode before sending him through his, his story on normal mode to level him up first. For the most part, though, I feel like if I hadn't been fucking around trying to fight uh, glowing with power guys and playable characters, and it just stuck with fighting the generic generals and sticking with the plot, we would have been okay. But I think you were supposed to engage... Um... um Katsui, at least. Ieyasu? I don't know. Maybe if we'd waited till this time in the, the, the story told us to fight Ieyasu, he wouldn't have been glowing with power anymore. A lot of the times, if you fight somebody who's glowing with power in these games, it's because the plot doesn't want you to fight them at that point. And they're just making it extra hard for you to win. You had death breathing down on you from all sides, but you kept fighting. You kept save loading. I knew I couldn't hang around with those Oda losers anymore. Keiji, 
Don't quit now, Yukimura. You got a shiny future ahead of you. I know it. Shiny happy future. I must warn you, dear. I have a nasty bite. Oh, she doesn't have the weapons that she has in uh, mercenary mode. So I, I've got her fairly well equipped. She's already pretty well equipped, folks. Oh, hey. Take a look at that, lady. Witness the might of the Sanada. So apparently I got close enough to trigger Nohime, but not uh, Nobunaga. It's fine. I don't particularly want to fight them at the same time. Ow. It is a bit silly that you're fighting this woman who's wearing, like, a robe and sandals. Dragon. It sounds to me like Yukimura yells, Dragon, when he dies. Which he's been doing, uh, which he's done at least twice now in this LP. Already. Oh, cool, we got her out of position, so she's not going to defend herself until she gets back. Too bad I couldn't take better advantage of that. She is faster than I am, though. One of the few things that the female characters in these games have going for them. Most of the time, they're fairly fast on their feet. There's a staff to the face, lady. I'm sure you've taken those before. Boom! Sorry. Well, I look forward to meeting you again. We won't be meeting her again. It is useless to resist Oh, me. no. I didn't think he was going to trigger wearing that dumbass armor. No. I predict the end of the old world. From this, this is my fault. Forward, Nagashino shall be remembered as the Takeda's crypt. A new era. But will there be any place for me? This is because I've made him wear that the last time I played as him. So that's why he's wearing the retarded... Uh, Golden armor. I'm gonna save because you know what? He's glowing with power. It's it's fair game for the end of boss of any level to glow with power. One of the things that makes Samurai Warriors 2 a lot more palatable for somebody who's not dedicated to being super pro is the fact that you're allowed to save more than once on hard difficulty. Because fighting through this thing all the way and then losing to the final boss who's going with power, no matter how well you do all the other mission objectives, is really frustrating. I remember losing the Yellow Turban Rebellion as uh, some character the first time I played it on hard mode because I got all the way to Zhang Jiao and he was going with power. Hey! Ow, 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 Yeah, he's doing his, like, force pull, or force push bullshit here. I gotta get out of here for a moment. Ow, ow, do not hit me, regular guy. It's not, I'm running away from your super-powered boss. Hard to drop. I've played way too many of these games. You hear a drop, and I instinctively know which direction to go in. Shit, shit, shit. Somebody dropped something. Get me out of here. Shit, shit, shit. Dark energy dribble. There we go. At last, this video can end. Hmm, retreat. Interesting. Very interesting, but stupid. No enemy shall ever surpass me. Bitches. You may run from me, but you will never escape the flow of time. Bye now! I am still alive. I've survived to see an age... That no longer has use for me. <laughs> I'm over 20 and I'm not married. You're hopeless, you know that? Just because you've got the heart of a warrior doesn't mean you've got to waste it entirely on war. Douche. I'll see you again, Yukimura. High five up. Too slow. 
Are you even gonna mutter his name sexually? No? Okay. My spear is unstoppable. <laughs> Suddenly he's cheery. <laughs> so Yukimoto is victorious, and I only had to load about three or four times. <laughs> but again, it all came out of like, you know, going after glowing with power dudes and the plot didn't require it. I went down there, I got killed by um, Tadakatsu once directly, then I lost because I went down and messed with Tadakatsu, and that slowed myself down and caused my commander to get killed. I got killed by Ieyasu once. So unless I'm forgetting something, that's three deaths. Well, two deaths and one defeat. So if I stop messing around in future missions, I should be okay. We'll see. Certainly one thing about starting on hard difficulty is that you level up fairly quickly. So I'm already at level 7. I've already got a third level spear with an element. It's my favorite element too. Nice. This is going to be my spear probably for the rest of this LP. And uh, what little cash I get will probably go into leveling up that spear. So that was a pretty good find. I'd like to think I got that for killing uh, Ieyasu. I don't think I did. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pretend I got that for killing Ieyasu and that therefore it was all worthwhile. Leveled up quite a few times. Got better attack stuff going. Focus and Cavalier. Cavalier's good. My Shrine Maiden stayed alive, and she prob I probably wouldn't have... I probably would have died even more often if it weren't for having a, a decent healer merc with me. So it's all good. Uh, we are being asked to save the game, which means there's probably... Um, cinematic stuff to come. So let's go ahead and call it a video, a rather long video, and not a particularly good showcase video for my skills, since I got my butt kicked a bunch of times on the first mission. But, wow, this video's gone for over an hour. I am so sorry, folks. But, you know, hey, hard hard mode, a lot more difficult. And uh, probably half an hour of that was me talking about the various musos I wasn't going to play. So next time, hopefully, I can be a little more efficient and uh, do a little less save load. But uh, that's what the sam that's the life of the samurai, the shonen, the shonen. Uh, yeah, it is. No, I mean, uh, it's not the shonen. What is the freaking bushido lifestyle? <laughs> bushido, bushonen, same difference, right? Bushido lifestyle in hard mode, man. It involves a lot of honor, a lot of discipline, and a lot of safe load. Next time, I'm hoping to be a little bit more efficient with my time and my killing. I'm a serious JG. I thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I want to apologize once again to everybody whose characters they voiced a preference for I did not play. I'm sure I'll try some of them out eventually. But I really wanted to try Yukimura because I figured his, his he's a good character with a challenging Muso and it would be fun. Hopefully you're having fun too. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.